Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT, and I arrived at the village. So, looks like going to be able to spend the nights after taking a long, short trip. So, maybe there's some villagers are here. So, they just want to ask something for a trade. So, looks like it also offers an emerald that also might need to require for. So, getting emeralds is definitely easy, but it also might need items for a trade. So, maybe this will be able to go and walk over to the villagers. So, if I might be able to go in there and speak. Okay, so, looks like the librarian wants to offer emeralds. And, well, maybe there's some few other steps that might need it for. Well, it is definitely able to be required to have something some very good upgrades and some enchanted books. Enchanted books are definitely quite very rare that we'll be able to get or it might be needed to be able to have a bottle of enchanting for. So looks like there is some iron golems are here to be able to protect the town. So looks like I just remembered how I built the iron golem so this is going to be everyone's personal bodyguards to have protection. So looks like I'm going to have to go and get the big guy down. Take it easy, big guy. I'll get you down if you need to be able to have ground protection. Okay, there you go. Looks like he's now on the ground. Just gonna make sure to be able to keep an eye out on mobs. So, looks like there's a spider nearby. Just gonna be able to get a nade on it. Okay, looks like a librarian is coming out, but he might need to get back inside before more mobs shows up before it will immediately attack him. Okay, just giving you one recommend call for it. Okay, some blacksmiths and some librarians would like to be able to have some emeralds would be needed. But emeralds are also used as currency, so this will be might be able to get needed for. So looks like I might be able to get back to my place until more mobs might be able to come chasing at me. So maybe first things first to be able to defend this village. Creepers, zombies, skeletons, and spiders everywhere. That could be quite giving a good risk that might be able to back way to avoid it. Looks like one creeper shows up. Just gonna have to back away from its range. Just stay careful and don't get near it. But maybe using the buildings for cover, but it won't gonna be easy. Okay, looks like it's on the move. Just gonna back away from a short inch. Alright, this is all good. Now, time to hunt down before it comes to coming in close. Taking three shots might be able to do it. Well, luckily, I might be able to have to do some more mining to be able to collect some coral, so the blacksmiths should be able to get it. <sighs> Great. Looks like outer arrows, so it looks like I might be able to stick onto the sword. Okay, looks like the mobs are here. Looks like I'm being struck affected. Just gonna have to eat the cooked chicken and then this will get me back up again. Yes, second whoop. Oh, you just killed it. You just killed the whoop skeleton. Our Benji. Okay, looks like two types of zombies has definitely shown for it, so looks like I just definitely encountered the regular one. Now, looks like this will be able to have to get some more stuff that might need it for. So, looks like gonna have to wait for getting a chance to get some arrows on it then. Okay, looks like there's some more mobs coming in for it. Looks like 
This is going to be able to have to open outside field that might be able to get ready. Let's bring it. Come on, you spider. There's no way I'm not afraid of you. Perfect. Now, gonna have to quick heal and then gonna take on the witch. But there's more coming in for it. Just gonna be able to back away on an inch. <laughs> oh, he just took a friendly fire. And then, knockout. Well, looks like this is going to be a quite simple combat that might be able to do the melee work. Now, just going to have to rush around that desert biome and then this will, might need some more mobs that might be able to have something to kill. But this is definitely having a good spot that might be able to station up on it. So, this is going to be quite easy. So, there's the witch. Time to go and knock him down and... Nope! That's not a witch, that's a, that's a sand zombie. Oh man, looks like an enderman shows up. Looks like I'm about to go and take it down and collect that ender pearl. Okay, don't look it in the eyes and then fight right there. Oh man, he definitely sees it. My gosh, Bear has to get on the water because he gets really mad. He's coming for me. <laughs> Gotta fight it. Fight it. <laughs> oh man, into the water. No, 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 no. <laughs> the Enderman is afraid of the water. He can't because he also has that passive teleport. Now, looks like this will come coming in whenever I need to get a chance to go and kill it again. Okay, looks like had enough of with me. So, be very careful when you see an enderman. Don't look in the eyes or don't use arrows to shoot at it. Just hit it whenever you're using the same position. So, maybe some strange sounds that might be able to get caught up on it. Yep, sometimes. Do not want the enderman to take us down from behind. But so close to take that enderman down. But this is gonna be quite giving a good source of a to collect that ender pearl. Come on. Strike at me. Okay, looks like daybreak's coming. Just gonna be prepared until all the mobs will be able to go away, except the creeper might be shown up. Okay, iron golems still protecting this village. Just gonna be needed as well. Okay, so maybe this zombie doesn't affect the sunlight, but it also stays on the desert biome, but the regular zombies can also get burned when being affected by the sunlight. So maybe this is going to be able to have one guest that might be able to have the shown variant types of zombies that might be able to shown around in Minecraft.
Okay. Down, down I'll do it. And, well, looks like there's a boat definitely stationed up here for it. Now, let's go and take a good look inside of the water. That might be easy to see. There's some more underwater zombies nearby for it. Okay, just use the un use the dive in, just take a good look. Okay, nothing else to see. Okay, so it looks like now we're in the partly cloudy because there's no sunlight shown, but this is still raining. Okay, just gonna have to eat up and replenish. Okay, looks like villagers might need something for it. So, I'll just have to make sure to be able to get my emeralds so villagers is about to ask something for it. So, maybe I might be able to start with the blacksmith. So, I'll just have to make sure to go and get it until I'll, I'll be coming back in for it, folks. Alright, I'm back to the village. So, Looks like I just definitely able to put my horse domestic in stands. So, yep, just want to make sure that my horse might be able to get everything prepared before moving out. All right, domestic, looks like you're good to go. So, looks like I'm ready to go whenever I have to get started. So, looks like I hope you be able to do it fine. But don't worry, you'll just be okay right now. So, maybe just having a little extra clip that might be needed for. So, this is going to be what I have to do before we get started for. So, looks like maybe the blacksmith might need coral. So, looks like time to get, get everything needed to get started. So, looks like... I kind of say that this is going to be able to have a crafting table might need it for. So it's going to be on one of the buildings for it. So it looks like there's some stripped Acadia log. So it has that kind of variant tree that might be quite very good to see it for. I kind of say that which building is which. So it looks like this might be able to have to find it themselves. Okay, so there's the building nearby, so it looks like it might be able to have some pathways might be able to get in. Okay, there's the crafting table. So it looks like this might be able to have some many good expanded stuff as definitely able to need to put on for. Okay, so maybe this is definitely the die section. I kind of say it's a lot of them because you'll never know what which section is going to do so looks like I just finally got one but this is going to be excellent to be able to have have the blacksmith might be needed for wait did I just strip the fog well definitely it is I just definitely put it there so this axe can also strip on on wooden planks, so that might be brand new. All right, so looks like might be able to ask one of the villagers. Okay, looks like butcher wants to offer the emerald. Well, don't have the pork chops. I might be able to get it. So maybe this is gonna be able to have a better perfect guess that might be able to have a blacksmith if there's a available might be able to get so looks like nighttime has definitely come closer for it so looks like don't want to miss out for the trade okay just gonna be able to 
get a nice good night's sleep. Then tomorrow start talking to blacksmith. Alright. Alright, tool smith. I guess you might need some emerald, so let's spark you up. Okay. Looks like he just definitely giving some good opportunities for. So looks like I just really want an unbreaking iron pickaxe. Okay, looks like oh man, I'm just really gonna get that diamond pickaxe. That I really need. Okay, um, librarian, I know you really want me to have some papers, so I'll make sure I'll, I'll be right back. So looks like this is gonna be good. So. Maybe I might be able to have more papers to be able to collect. So, looks like I'm gonna have to go harvesting some sugar canes to make some paper. Gotta say, doing some image source that might be able to get to work for it. Well, I probably have a lot of sugar canes in my property, but. Well, maybe only in this temporary area can also to collect some sugar canes. So, good thing I still made it to be able to make as a farm. So, this is going to be excellent to be perfect to good, good to go for it. Now, luckily, I really think that this will be able to have this spot to be able to make some sugar canes to be able to build for. So this might be quite excellent. So this is going to be easier to have the villagers to go and make the trade offers. Just going to be able to go back back to the same house where the crafting table was at. And this is going to be quite good to be able to make some more papers to be collected for. Having more papers, having more emeralds to be able to get some fine valuable earnings to be able to have emeralds on it. Okay, that's enough of these papers. Okay, so looks like there's another sugar cane that's just definitely growing for it. Just gonna have to go in there and make the offer to the librarian. Okay, so I really want the bookshelf, so I might be able to spin it wisely. So it's just gonna keep an eye out on my emeralds if I needed to. Okay, so he wants 35 papers, so here you go. Well, he's just definitely looking at me and he wants something more. Okay, well, I really go for it if I need more bookshelves. Okay, good day, sir. Now, I can't say another one where the crafting table is definitely shown for. So, looks like I might be able to get a good time that might be able to head back to the village. Maybe my village. Alright, domestic. Time to head back. To my Time to head home. So, looks like this is going to be excellent for having trade offers to every villager if you need something to have some certain items and emeralds. So, looks like I only have 17 laps, so this might be able to save it for. So, looks like this is going to be able to do some more stuff to be able to do some mining to collect some resources. So, time to hit the caves to go in and collect something for it. So, I'll make sure that I'm just going to be able to have my horse to be ready up and go. So this is might be able to get started for. So glad that you really enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. So looks like I'll see you guys next time to be able to go for another adventure in Minecraft. And I'll see you guys later. Hyperion Blue GT signing off. And also, I'm just definitely able to have horse horses to be able to use as the main parking lot, but I might be able to have to choose one horse at a time.